Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Uh, now, we are starting early today. It is roughly 7.15, and the reason for that is because at 8.15, I have an appointment at my local muffler shop to have my new cat back installed. And if you remember from the, uh, the previous videos, and this is why the title is what it is, is I said I wasn't gonna mess with the exhaust anymore. <laughs> I said I was completely done with the exhaust. I was happy. Uh, I was very happy with the way it was. Um, However, I have been looking at clips online and I just, I don't know, I want to try it. I mean, if it sucks, then I'll end up kicking myself because I wasted a lot of money for nothing. Um, and, you know, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But we are going to try just because uh, curiosity killed the cat in the situation. Um, what's currently here, we'll show you what is uh, currently on the car. Alrighty, so right now we have the uh, Stainless Works Retro Chambered Cat Back that is currently on the car. Um, I don't know, you guys aren't going to be able to really see anything uh but the uh the cat backs are very similar in price comparison uh but they are very different in tone this is one of the deepest cat backs uh i think i've ever heard and originally that is what i wanted for the car was it to sound nice and deep and throaty and everything else um so yeah it, it did its job i mean i get compliments on the exhaust all the time it sounds absolutely amazing to be honest uh, however, uh, the other one that I was considering back when I decided that I wanted to get an exhaust uh, was something that went a little bit uh, different. And before I go up there and show you what that is, um, it's important to note that I love the quad tips, and that is something that I do want to carry over. Uh, I paid; uh, these aren't; this didn't come on the exhaust. I bought these separate. Um, I believe they're three-inch inlet and four-inch outlet. So that is something that I do want to transfer over to the other exhaust. Uh, so hopefully he can make that happen. Um, if not, then I guess I'm going to have to suck it up because I don't really want to pay to have to this exhaust taken back off uh, just for tips, which means maybe I'll switch over to the Havoc diffuser. But as you guys can see, this is what the new exhaust is going to be. Everybody loves a Corsa. Uh, an LS and a Corsa is a, a great, great combo, honestly. I mean, I love the way they sound, uh, especially with KM long tubes and no cats. I think this is going to sound absolutely awesome. So we are going to go ahead and load the Corsa into the back of dad's truck. He is going to follow me over uh, to the muffler shop. Uh, I'll be in the Camaro and then we'll drop that off. Um, now I'm not going to be able to record them installing it more than likely. He told me that because uh, it was probably going to be a, a lengthier process than like a muffler delete or whatever, that uh, I should just hitch a ride home and that they would call me when, uh, whenever the installation is done, which works for me because it's, 7 15 in the morning and i'm ready to go back to bed so yeah um i'm not gonna film anything driving over there more than likely so uh let's go sounds what's that, is that right as good as it sounds? oh yeah definitely yeah, thank you buddy i appreciate it <laughs> two hours later so just got the call that my car is done so me and slow boat we're gonna go pick up the beast So we are back at the house. I'm standing in the garage because uh, the wind's blowing. It looks like some storms are going to move in. So uh, if I take it out there, you guys probably won't be able to hear a single thing I'm saying. Um, so we got the car back. It's man. <laughs> um, one thing to note, and I'll point out, I'll show you here in a second. Uh, we were not able to transfer over the quad tips, which I figured may happen the way that uh, Corsa has the, the back half of their cat back set up. It just, it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't work out. Um, I do have a plan and I'll uh, explain that here in a second. But uh, when I got there, the guy was like, it's it's loud. And I was like, well, I mean, the car was already loud. So I was like, how, how loud are we talking about? And he was like, it's loud. I was like, okay. So I stood behind the car and he started up and I was like, oh, you know, it, it is loud, but it sounds good. You know, it's like, ooh. Uh, ooh, <laughs> caveman noises. <laughs> um, uh, so then I turned to look at dad and he revved it and I had to cover my ears. Like when you get above like around the 4,000 RPMs and higher, it screams like I bad, like it, it's loud. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm saying that I'm putting as much emphasis on that as I am because um, I'm not able to like the video is not going to convey that. So for for anyone who is considering this and has uh, the same similar setup, you know, cam, long tubes, no cats, just know that it is loud. I, I want to stress that. <laughs> um, and that, in fact, uh, when I went to Revit, uh, and I already recorded the exhaust clips, and I'll play that for you guys here in a second, um, I didn't go above 4,000 uh, just because it was so loud. It, I didn't want, like, there's only so many places I can go in my small town, and 
it was back behind an industrial building. There are people back there, and I didn't want them to, you know, like get pissed off that I was back there and everything else. So four thousand was as far as I was going to go. Um, hopefully, the video you'll kind of be able to tell how loud it's getting, but just know it only goes up from there. And it, my lord, is it freaking loud! So uh, I get ready for some wood noise. I want to show you guys what I was talking about when it comes to the tips. So this is courses. Uh, the way it's set up, this is all smudged, it's dirty. I gotta clean that. Here, look at this one, it's prettier. <laughs> so as you can see, this is the uh, the 1LE rear valence for when I had uh, quad tips, it was able to accommodate that. Now, the way this is bent, the uh, the part where you would have to weld the tips on starts right about here, and look how far over that is. Uh, it's, it's clearly farther over to the right, and over there it's farther over to the left. So the second tip for the quad tip, the first one would come right here instead of over where it should be. Sorry about the wind noise, I'm gonna try to block it for you guys. And uh, the right side of the tip would just be hitting the diffuser. So there's no way, he said there's no way that that was probably gonna work. And I'm, I'm fine with the way it is. I'm gonna take you guys, I'm gonna take you guys back up to the garage so you don't have to hear this. Okay, now the reason I'm fine with that, and I, I really do like quad tips, um, so I am a little bummed out. Uh, but the reason I'm okay with that is because Havoc makes a, uh, a rear diffuser. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw a picture up on the screen for you guys. Um, that is basically, I'm okay with that because I really liked how aggressive that diffuser is. And the thing is, you can only use single exit tips with it. Uh, they don't make one to accommodate quad tips. So that is why I'm all right with uh, only having single tips for now. I'm gonna throw that on there. I'm gonna get that ordered today. Um, so I'm hoping that'll, that'll turn out and just make the car look even that much better uh, in the back. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I know you guys are dying to hear, probably dying to hear the, uh, the exhaust and stop uh, me rambling. So I'm going to go ahead and play that now. What I'm going to do is include what the original exhaust sounds like. Start up, rev, drive by, drive by, drive by. And then I will play what the new exhaust sounds like. So enjoy. As you guys just saw, that is the new exhaust. I really hope that uh, it, the internet and video format can convey uh, the way it sounds to you guys. I'm, that's what I'm hoping uh, because it sounds absolutely magnificent in person. And if it's anything like the old exhaust, the video is not gonna do it any bit of justice. Um, and so uh, really what I just wanna say is my final thoughts on it. Um, my old exhaust, the, uh, the stainless works where it had the big, you know, the low deep uh, grumble, I was able to feel that in my uh, accelerator, the gas pedal. Every time I would give it gas or rev it, you could really feel that type of vibration in the gas pedal. This, you can't feel anything. It's so smooth. And like, that was weird for me at first. I was like, oh, that's, that's really strange. Like, I feel no vibration or anything. I, I guess maybe the course is not shaking the car and the deep, you know, grumbly was resonating and shaking the car or whatever. I don't know why that is, but you do not feel it in the gas pedal at all, which I kind of like when I could feel it because I could kind of tell how much I was giving it. This, I just kind of have to go based off the, the RPMs. Um, Another thing is the old system used to drone. And like, 
it wasn't like a bad drone. Like it was a very like a comfortable drone, if that makes sense. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was it was just a deep exhaust note. Like as you were driving, uh, you know, cruising at 60 or whatever. This as loud as it can get when you're cruising and Corsa stays true to the word. I understand what they mean when they say they they do not drone. You don't hear that exhaust at all. Cruising at 60 miles an hour, I can roll the windows up and be none the wiser. You wouldn't even know they had an aftermarket exhaust on it. So. I think that's pretty cool. Um, not that I, I didn't, I, I mean, I didn't mind the other uh, exhaust note, the drone. Uh, so, I mean, but this, is, it's kind of nice. I want to like yell or whatever. Behind the car, it is so much louder than the old one though. You would think having a system with no mufflers and then going to a new system with mufflers, it wouldn't be that bad, but, or like it would quiet it down even. And that's what I was expecting, except when you, I knew it was gonna be loud when you got on it. Um, but I didn't expect it to be louder at idle, and it is. And it's, it just sounds great. I'm very, very happy with the system. Corsa, you did, outdid yourselves. Uh, very happy to have it on here. Um, I will get the new diffuser on there so it stops looking like a gap tooth hillbilly uh, in the back because that bothers me. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I wanted to do for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you ever get to hear this kind of setup in person, I would recommend go for it because, like I said, the video doesn't do it justice. It sounds awesome. Uh, but anyway, if you liked the uh, channel so far and you like the way the build's going, please go ahead and subscribe so you can follow continue updates for the build. Uh, leave a like, drop a comment, let me know what you guys think of the new sound system, and as always, have a great day.